bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Newsmakers with the Washington State Convention Center for the Neighborhood House Breakfast, the seventh annual. And the keynote speaker is Van Jones. Van, welcome to Washington State. I'm really happy to be here. I want to just start immediately with you since our time is so limited. You have figured out a way from Oakland, California, right? Yes, yes, from Oakland. To, to make uh, the lives of urban teens who may mm -hmm. maybe go to prison. Yeah to make those lives positive by attacking the green problem as well and combining the two. Tell me sure. how you're doing that. That's good. Well, you know, we, we have this basic idea that you know, we're moving into this era where we're going to have a green economy. Everybody's talking about it. Your mayor has been an incredible leader here in Seattle, globally on this, nationally on this. Um, and we had this idea, well, if you're going to have a green economy, it can't just be about reclaiming thrown away stuff. It should be also about reclaiming thrown away lives, ah. thrown away neighborhoods. And so we had this idea, what we call green jobs, not jails. Let's get young kids who are going to get in trouble, um, who maybe don't have a, a positive future. Uh, somebody's got to put up all those solar panels. <laughs> somebody's got to weatherize all those homes. Somebody's got to build those wind farms, learn that new technology. Let's get these young people who need work connected with all this work that needs to be done. You know, it's a pretty obvious connection, but not everyone gets it. Um, sure. Now, uh, coming from Oakland, California, which is a city that's had its challenges that's, over the that's years. For sure. You are fairly fortunate to have Nancy Pelosi right over the bridge there yes. as the Speaker of the House. How right. has that helped you? Well, it's helped us a lot because you know we're working in Oakland. You know, there's you know, a lot of you know, youth violence that's going on, a lot of hopelessness, a lot of despair. We started working on this thing. We said the other thing happening in Northern California is this incredible green economy, yep. organic food, solar panels. Let's connect the kids to that work. Pelosi heard about it. She said, "Listen, I'm Speaker of the House. I want you to bring this idea to Congress." She helped us go to Congress. We walked the halls of Congress, and by um, December of this past year, she helped us smuggle into the energy bill something <laughs> called the Green Jobs Act of 2007. George Bush signed it. Don't know if he read it, but he signed it. So it's law, and it's authorizing about $125 million a year to train all across the country about 35,000 people that's in excellent. these green trades. That's <coughs> excellent. Hey, listen, a lot of other things are, are smuggled into different yeah, bills exactly. that are not nearly as useful <laughs> as that right. idea, although I don't think yeah. I'm supposed to give my opinion, but yeah, I think yeah. I just did. Well, thank you. Uh, you're here in Seattle talking about uh, a neighborhood house, and they've oh, got yeah. a project in West Seattle called High Point, oh, sure. which is sort of what you're talking oh, about. Oh, it's, right? it's the cutting edge of the cutting edge. You know, um, the most exciting thing about it is, first of all, it's going to be a gold lead building. People don't know what that means. Uh, lead is the, the green building standard, and gold is, you know, the only thing beyond gold is platinum. So this is going to be a very high end uh, green building, but it's going to be for low income people ah. and people, you know, from immigrant backgrounds, refugee uh, backgrounds. So here you are, you're, you're building something that's going to help the people, it's also going to help the planet. And you've got people from different uh, uh, racial backgrounds, yes. language backgrounds, learning. It's going to be also a learning center for the environment. So, so often, you know, you think, oh, well, the environmental movement is just for the eco elite, you know, in Hollywood with the hybrid cars or whatever. No, no, this is going to be something for everybody. That's great. Van, we have about a minute to go with Van Jones sure. uh, speaking at the neighborhood house today at the convention center. It, what is your message going to be in, in 40 mm -hmm. seconds or less? Sure, what are you sure. going to be saying today? Well, well, I'm just going to be congratulating the neighborhood house for really taking the lead. The, the, their solar array is going to be the biggest solar array on any uh, 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 building in the state. Uh, so they're going to be lighting up uh, the community in two ways, with solar, but also with hope for people who need hope and help. Van, this is wonderful work you're doing. I know you're heading out to the door here after the breakfast to, uh, to meet with Al Gore and yes. others as that effort continues around the country. Now, I know that we're not talking politics here, but, mm -hmm. you know, if you keep messing around with good things like this, there could be a political future for you. Well, yes I, or no? I hope not. I hope, <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope you know, we can keep doing good stuff in the community. That's the, I, I love the political people. I love, I love working with people directly much more. Do most people, last question with 10 second answer, can be a yes or no. Do most people get the green thing? Yeah, as, as soon as they hear it, the light bulb co comes on, and it's a, a compact fluorescent light bulb that comes on. <laughs> Van Jones, thank you very much. Great to meet uh, you. Alrighty. And that's it for Newsmakers today from the, uh, the Convention Center, Neighborhood House Breakfast. I'm Tony Gonzalez. We'll see you next time.